Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to part 8 of my full platinum walkthrough for Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. Right, at the end of the previous video, I told you not to spend any of your souls. Hopefully hopefully you didn't. You will need 16,000 to buy all of the ladders that we need from the ladder smith over here. Uh, you only need to buy two of them, really, so 12,500, but if you want to buy all three... That's up to you. But basically we need to buy ladders from this guy. You may remember him from the previous video in Earthen Peak. Uh, even if you didn't speak to him in Earthen Peak, he will still be here once you leave, once you defeat the boss. Ask him to set up the ladder. So speak to him and then set up the ladder. Uh, and you're going to get three options. These are for different lengths of ladders leading you down the hole that's next to us here. Um, so the two that you do need are 12,000. That's the main one you need. This is for the trophy as well, Garrulous Miser. So we need to spend the 12,000 with him. Here you can see you get the three options when you once you've spoken to him. Uh, so purchase the 12,000 one. And then I'm going to speak to him, continue speaking to him. Uh, and then I'm also going to purchase the 5,000, uh, the 500. I purchased all of them, but you need the 500 and the 12,000. They're the two I'm going to use. Uh, and then after you've purchased all of them, talk to him in the options. Actually use the talk thing. And then you'll get Garrulous Visor and uh, the Melu Scimitar, which is a sword. Uh, yeah, so we're actually doing three areas. The, the title of this video is Black Gulch. That's ultimately where we're going to. Uh, there are two areas we need to go through to get there. You can see this video is only 40 minutes long, 41 minutes long. Uh, and that's for three areas. We're also going to um, Graves of Saints and the Gutter. They're kind of on the way down. So I'm going to use the short ladders. So you can see the different lengths of ladders. Now before you do this, you can see I took a lot of damage there. I was actually quite lucky, I forgot. To, uh, to do this, but you can take all of your armor, get rid of all of your armor and weapons, uh, just unequip them uh, so you're basically naked, <laughs> and drop down and you'll take a lot less damage. You can also buy the cat ring from, do you remember the cat NPC in the house next to the hole? Uh, if you have some souls left over, you can buy the cat ring from her, equip that, that reduces fall damage, but it is, I think that's about twelve or 14,000 as well. Uh, so we're going to just be dropping down here, grabbing items as we go. You can see that I was at the medium ladder point there. That's where the medium ladder leads to. You can see the long one goes all the way down to the bottom. Uh, and then we're going to drop down here finally. <laughs> and this is going to be um, Grave of Saints. This is actually a skippable area, but we do need to come here for a hex, unfortunately. And we're going to join a covenant while we're here, but we can join the covenant elsewhere. The main reason we're here is to pick one of the hexes up. It's a very short area with a very easy boss that I really embarrassingly died to. <laughs> I completely forgot about what... The so the main area, this whole area is filled with rats. And that's it. It's just rats. Um, and when a rat kind of bites you, you have a build-up of um, petrification. And I completely forgot about it. You can see it there on the, on the screen there, just kind of building up. Once that fills up, you die. The, there's no way around it. Uh, so there's the, the boss of this place is just a lot of rats. Lots of rats. Maybe 10, 15 almost. Um, and I completely forgot to keep them under... I just went for the boss. The main one of them. Um, the actual vanguard. And I got killed. But never mind. We'll get to that in a moment. So yeah, just keep an eye out. The rats, they come from everywhere. You can kill them with one. Sometimes it's one hit. It's weird. I think these ones are one hit. Yeah, these are one hit. Sometimes it's two. Um, I think this one is the one that drops it. It drops a... Uh, yeah, so warmth there. Is a pyromancy we do need. Don't worry though if you don't get the drop. It is a random drop. We can purchase it later. But you may get it. So if you do, you've got it. So just be aware. Uh, there are lots of forest locks here. Or forest locks. That's the only one you need to do. A lot of them are just tricks and things. Just don't bother. Just that one to drop that bridge down. And that's to get this hex in a moment. So yeah, once you pick that up, be aware that rats will just come out of holes everywhere. So uh, yeah, watch your back. Uh, after this level, or after we've actually defeated we've, uh, the boss, we get a ring that is going to help with uh, petrification sort of resistance which is unfortunate and a bit late uh, you wait just saw that i got a rat's tail there as well we need that to join the covenant there's whisper of despair the hex that's basically the only reason we're down here um so we could leave at this point but we might as well just do the boss it's literally up this ladder and we're there yes the rat's tail that i just got as a random drop 
you will get one after defeating the boss. So that is another reason to defeat this boss uh, is to get the rat's tail. It's to join the covenant. You can join the covenant elsewhere as well. So I'm just going to run over here and get some homeward bones. They do come in helpful if you, you need to warp out somewhere. There are just three here. You can see some rats kind of hiding just back there. So once you pick them up, they will follow you. So just be aware of that. Come on. And yeah, just towards the end of this corridor now is, uh, is going to be the boss. And it's, again, another kind of lazy boss, to be honest. There we go. Uh, yeah, and I do die, unfortunately. <laughs> Embarrassingly. I, I've never died, <laughs> died to this boss. And of course, I do it while I'm recording. Uh, yeah, but there you go. It can happen out of nowhere. That's the Dark Souls for you, isn't it? Death comes from nowhere. And it... To top it off also, I die straight afterwards on a really simple drop. Uh, but yeah, I'm not. obviously I'm going to cut the deaths out. I'll jump straight back in and kind of explain where, where I'm up to. So sit at the bonfire there just to uh, get the durability back on my weapon. And this is the fight. It's lots of rats. You can keep them under control and just kill them. Like it is two hits per, but don't do that and get caught in the middle like that. You want to run to edges, get them to sort of follow you in a line if you can, best you can. And uh, just kill them and try and keep them under control. They do keep coming. Uh, the boss isn't actually here yet from the start. You will see the health bar will turn up when uh, he actually turns up. You can see I'm, I'm getting a lot of um, petrification build up. And this is what I completely negated to remember. Especially when it came to the actual boss being here. It does wear down pretty quickly as well. You see the boss has actually turned up now. He, he is easily easily distinguished by his uh, stripe of fur along his back and his bigger ears. You will be able to pick him out. And he is more aggressive than the other ones as well. He will come for you. Where is he? I'm just trying to keep him under. You can see I've got quite a bit of build up now. There he is. This is him here in front of me. So I'm just going to heal and then I go in for it. Completely forget about the... I've got a lot. Yes. That was all. You see how I like three hits and he's almost half dead. So I'm going to skip back. So I've just run back in. Uh, I've actually turned human again. I'm actually going to kill him properly this time. And uh, not get. He also does poison, which probably didn't help as well. There we go. And that's how easy it's supposed to be. <laughs> you can see how little build up I have. It's just kind of move around, get them to follow you in a line so they're not all around you. Uh, and yeah, once you've done that, you'll get the rat tail. And then you can speak to this rat here, and uh, he will notice that you have a tail, exhaust his dialogue, uh, and he'll kind of say, do you want to join the Covenant? I'm not actually going to join it, you don't need it to for the trophy, so we're just going to get the trophy and move on. Join it or if you want, but no need to. He's just going to carry on, he's going to say that he's disappointed, but oh well. And along we go. And that's this area done. That's the first area done. And then I'm going to do a really pointless death here. So be careful on these graves. I just could... I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm playing something different. I walk right towards the edge here and just fall. <laughs> uh, so don't do that. So back we are. Yeah. You want to fall forwards like that. And be aware you will take fall damage on this last one onto this bridge. And there's going to be a bleed stone at the end. And then we're going to drop down onto another bridge. So this is where the long ladder would actually bring you out. If you climb down the long ladder. Uh, the reason we needed to buy it was for the trophy. So we needed to buy it anyway. But the long ladder would br bring you to that doorway that was just ahead of me then as I dropped down. Um, that's basically the bottom of the uh, that big hole. But that crystal lizard, it is a, a pain that one. If you get it, you get it. If not, don't worry too much. You can always come try and get it later on. There's the Ash Knuckle Ring that actually helps with um, petrification resistance. Yes, a bit late, but never mind. Right, once you drop down here, look to the... So, from with your back to the chest, look to the left-hand side and uh, look out for these three. There's going to be three of these guys come out. These explode. So, you do know these guys. These are the ones that actually explode and do damage, though. So, yeah, definitely kill them and don't go in the water. Just try and stay on land. So you can um, take care of them easily enough. They should come one at a time. Should be easy enough. And uh, yeah, this guy... 
These guys are easy. I don't know why, but <laughs> you see how little damage he actually does if he does hit as well. I'm trying to get the backstab. I just couldn't get it on him, though. Never mind. I just let him hit me. It's, not, it's nothing that damage is doing. <laughs> right. There you go. Down you go. And then in here is Sublime Bone Dust. This is the stuff we're going to burn in the bonfire and uh, make our Estus Flask stronger. So the next place we're actually going to is the gutter. This... <sighs> uh, make sure you grab this as well. Great heal, uh, miracle. We do need that for the trophy. Right, so yeah, the gutter, if you've played Dark Souls 1, you will know about um, Blight Town. Good old Blight Town. This place is a darker Blight Town, uh, but less poison and not really very difficult enemies at all they can hit hard some of them but not difficult and that's basically what this place is it's a horrible place i will be doing just getting a certain items and getting us the hell out of there i do miss some areas and items but again we're not get going for everything we're just getting the important stuff and if it is close by like this we will obviously go and get it um but yeah we just i'm just going to get you through this place so this bit's easy. This is this is fine. This is still broad. Well, it's not broad daylight, but it's still daylight looking. Uh, and the, at the bottom here, there's going to be a chest with the token of spite. So you may remember the little uh, dwarf guy who was after the executioner's chariot boss. Um, he we, we need to give that token of spite to him, and he's going to allow us to join his covenant, and we'll get that trophy. We'll go there eventually. Uh, obviously, you can do it whenever you like, but there's no rush to get that so here we are it's very dark I'm gonna drop down here and then we're gonna drop down this gap here and you'll should fall all the way through to the bonfire so this is the official start of the area uh, you can light a torch and light things sort of sconces as you go and things but I'm not going to um, it means you'd have to drop your shield a dung pie that's completely useless <laughs> So yes, go across this first bridge. I'm going to try to make this. Stay to the right-hand side so you don't fall through the roof there. Stay to the right-hand side. Watch out for these guys. They do appear from all over. These aren't too bad if they just have their fists. Uh, the fire ones aren't too bad either. They can sort of do a flurry attack. The ones you need to watch out for have dark weapons, which you will see. Uh, just to make it even more fun, we will have these poison spitters. So if we get this bridge for now, we're not going to use that. So you can break these statues uh, and they won't be able to spit poison anymore, obviously. So whenever you do see them, break them. And across this bridge. And I think this one here, I do, it does actually manage to get me as well. It has the dark. You see how much damage that dark hit does? It's a lot. And then we're going to climb up here. I'm trying to get this item here. Most items will probably or fine will fall through to the floor. We do basically need to get right to the bottom of this place, uh, and that's what we're going to do. But there's a few things we want to grab before we go down. Some black fire bombs if you want them in this chest here. Right, we're going to drop down and take on probably the worst er er enemy type in this area. Um, it's they're like dogs, like mole dogs. They're horrible things and they hit extremely hard when you don't think you're even being hit by them it's it's weird the sort of interaction you sort of get hit from the side like they do a lunge you can see it damaged me there but i wasn't really being hit it's weird it feels like it should have more weight to it but they don't like that especially that sort of swipe they do uh, it feels like it should have some sort of weight to it but it doesn't and it does a lot of damage um See, so yeah, be careful with these guys. Maybe try and get the lunge and then just do an attack. Or just get rid of them as quickly as possible. So I'm actually getting a bit turned around myself here. I actually need to drop down to the, the side there. Uh, but I'm just going to go through here. We would, do need to come back through here eventually. So we do need to kill that dog. Uh, yeah, this place is the worst. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna just going to miss. Uh, basically, we're going getting a uh, an Estus Flask shard. And then we're going to skip... Uh, most of the area so we do need to go across that bridge that's where we need to go uh, so I do go across that bridge I've cut it out I've been across that bridge killed a bunch of enemy little enemies that may appear and then I've come back drop down here so we will go back across that bridge don't worry we're going to put that in but I just wanted to leave it out while I was sort of 
getting my bearings again, so to speak. So I've just cut that out briefly. Uh, just killed a little couple of skeleton dudes. Or the undead. And then we're going to come around here, get this titanite trunk. That's important, make sure you grab that. And we're going to go through here. And there's going to be um, a guy with a, a dark weapon. So watch out, because that does a lot of damage. There's going to be another one as well. They're just so well hidden down here, it's so dark. <laughs> You can, if you want, carry a torch around. If you're not bothered about having your shield, uh, carry a torch around by all means. Then we're going to drop down onto proper land again. Nothing down this end, and then there's going to be, I think he's a hide knight. Yeah, he looks like one. Uh, don't bother with him. He will attack you if you attack him. Uh, if you don't attack him, he will leave you alone. Uh, grab this armor set, and then we're going to go up this big old long ladder here. And uh, grab the Estus Flask Shard that's at the top. So that's the main reason we've took this little detour here. And then we're going to continue on. And uh, yeah. There's going to be some jars. You may see some jars that look sort of like hearts on the top. They look like a heart. Not a heart as in the shape that you would know, associate with a heart shape. A heart as in the real thing. With all the sort of uh, ethical ventricles. The, you know what I mean. Arteries coming out the top. Uh, you'll see them after. Whatever you do, don't hit them, especially if you're wearing uh, armor or rings, because it will it will break them eventually if you keep getting hit. It lets off like a, an orangey, yellow, orangey liquid, uh, and it basically breaks your armor and rings. And you will need to go to a smith to get them repaired before they're actually useful again. Um, it weirdly doesn't affect weapons or shields, though, which is strange. But there you go. So. Zip line across, which is quite a, a rare sight in a Dark Souls, is having a zip line. And we're going to drop down, watch out, there is a gap. So here's one of those jars. You can see they have like that weird sort of. They look, they look like a top of a heart if you've ever seen one. Um, yeah, don't hit them with this sword. This is why I'm trying to get this guy. And of course, he breaks it while I've got my back turned, so you can't even see it. Uh, yeah, so don't hit them. There is actually a line of them we need to go through at the bottom of this place. And I will derobe <laughs> to uh, go through them, and uh, I advise you'll do the same as well. So, fragrant branch of yore is the main thing we're picking up there, and then we're going to. There's a ladder here. You can just see ahead of me. There is a ladder. I'm not going to go down there, but the dark pyromancy flame is down there. There's also one of those dogs, enemies, mole, rat, whatever you want to call it, down there, along with a lot of those jars. So if you want to go down and get the Dark Pyromancy Flame, if that's something you're using or want to use, go for it. I'm not going down there. It's horrible. So I've come back round now, full circle. This is where that original dog mole rat thing was. So I'm going to go back up this ladder and then continue on. So there may be a few undead on this bridge, just a couple. Uh, I did cut that bit out because I was sort of getting turned around, ran across here and made a mess. So stick to the path I'm going, don't go too far otherwise you'll fall through that roof. And watch out for this one, he does sort of a blast which will knock you off the bridge if you're not careful. And then we're going to skip all this, there's loads of stuff, don't need any of this, no, nothing there we need. If you want to look around, go for it, but I just want to get out of here and that's what <laughs> I'm sure you want to do as well. Grab these poison arrows, and then we're going to go through this fog. This is not a boss fog, this is just a sort of area fog. And then, uh, yeah, we're almost done. We're almost at the bottom. There's one of those black, uh, not black, dark um, attacks, dark weapons again. They do so much damage. Right, you can see all these ladders here. Don't go down them just yet. Just look for this back wall here. You can see it. If you hit it, you can go through it and look to the left. And you'll see a bonfire, which is nice. And then from the bonfire, if you go back through this and look to the left-hand side. I'm just going to get rid of this. This is one of those poison things. Left-hand side, you'll see a ladder there. This is the ladder you want to go down. There's a bunch of ladders. There's items and things and... Nothing of great interest. So you go down this ladder, and then be aware this drop can hurt quite a lot. And there's going to be a uh, one with a dark weapon there. And then we'll go down this ladder, and we have reached the bottom. We are at the bottom. 
So watch out, there's quite a few undead here. There we go. Yeah, there, you just saw one of those. There, you can see that pot explode there. That that yellow, orangey stuff, um, that's the stuff that affects your armor and uh, rings. I'm just going to let him swing away while I heal. This item here di directly ahead of me is from an enemy I killed up top, if you're wondering. So that probably won't be there for you. Life gems times 20, that's pretty helpful to be honest. I do like just the little life gems. Another one just sneaking up there. Here's the, uh, that's the row that we need to go through. So to the left of that is the is, uh, Dark Fog Hex. So make sure you grab that, that's one of the hexes we need. Uh, and now I'm going to take all of my clothes off. I'm also going to do it in the game. So go into the main menu, on the menu here, take everything off, all rings, all armor so you look like that that's horrible i'm still dead <laughs> and then we're going to roll through it it doesn't affect weapons so don't worry and then drop down and you'll see another fragrant branch of your here now obviously you're going to want to put all your armor back on all your rings clorinthy good old clorinthy ring of steel protection uh, ring of blades and then my little trap ring that I always wear, the Ring of Restoration, that probably nobody else ever uses. And then obviously I'm going to put the Falconer's armor back on for now, until I get the Faram armor. And away we go. So that's it, that is the gutter done. We are in the next area now, you're going to see lots of green, it's a lot better this area. Uh, kind of, <laughs> the enemies are a bit of a pain or two of them are uh, but yeah it's a lot brighter in here, you can actually see what's going on but there are a lot, and I mean a lot of those statues that spit acid so what we're going to do is just briefly go away and come back uh, I actually don't want to travel to Majula I want to go to Things Betwixt uh, but I'm going to just quickly go to Majula and then go to Things Betwixt I wanted to make sure that I actually had enough uh, Fragrant branches of your. So I'm just going to do that quickly here. Uh, yeah, four is more than enough. So you should have that as well. Uh, if you have only two, don't go and do this yet. You should have the same. I mean, we've been doing the same uh, thing if you've been playing along. Uh, go to things betwixt. This is the right at the start of the game. We're just going to get another Esther's Flask Shard while we're here. So we've got a. Uh, a build up of these fragrant branches now so uh, we can use one to come and get this Estus Flask Shard because we don't need it to move on so here's this uh, this nest, I've we've been here before right at the start, this is where you can come and trade the uh, petrified somethings and your smooth and silky stones and things so I'm not going to do them all but you can uh, do them all, so do leave don't do discard, make sure you leave it uh, and then back away get rid of the text out of the way and then pick it back up and this is the reason I'm not going to do it is that was petrified dragon bone I actually need that to upgrade the next weapon I'm going to pick up so if I just use them all up I would have more petrified uh, dragon bones than you would because it is random uh, and obviously I can't guarantee that you're going to have the same stuff so I'm not going to do it but you go ahead and do all of yours the, the stones and the, the petrified somethings uh, get them all exchanged you don't need them for anything else. But yeah, I'm already one ahead on Petrified Dragonbone just by giving one in. Yeah, Basilisk, watch out for those. These also petrify you and I'm stuck. No! <laughs> and it's very quick, that build up as well. They are very easy to kill though. I don't know how I managed to hit that one. I thought it was still alive. Anyway, this arch is quite annoying. You can kick this tree down. So this enemy is actually... He feels a bit stronger than he should for the beginning of the game. Obviously this is kind of a secret area anyway. And then I'm almost going to die. Not quite. Almost. Down this hole is our Estus Flask Shard. There are three Basilisks. They're not a problem, the Basilisks. That's fine. The fall, obviously, is going to do damage to you. Uh, but there's also an Archer. So you see me take a lot of damage there. Uh, the Archer managed to hit me. And luckily did not get me there. 
I'm actually going to just go up and quickly get rid of him. And that is the Estus Flash Shard down here with the Basilisks. I think they're called Basilisks. Yeah, they are. Yeah? No. Those things with the eyes. Let's call them that. And that's the only reason we've come back here. So you're going to go back, you're going to go through here. And there's going to be two of those uh, those big rhino, hippo looking guys. The, the Cyclops. I'll just show you that. So there's one there. And then there's one to the side, down to the right here. You can't see him. He's kind of waiting around the corner. It's a bit of a trap, to be honest. Uh, you see him just... There he is. Um, yeah, if you want to, you can kill them. Go for it. Uh, another back end near the water. There's a coffin. If you get in that coffin, you can change your gender. So go for it if you want to. Makes no difference. But if you want to, that's how you do it. And that's all we needed from here, so I'm going to run back and then we're going to use the two Estus Flask Shards that we have, plus the Bone Dust to really strengthen our... Uh, that was Havel then. <laughs> to strengthen our... Um, uh, Estus Flask. Estus Flask, our healing. So we've got two, so that's going to take me up to nine uses. And then it's going to be plus two with the, uh, the sort of strength of it as well. So while I'm here, might as well level up as well. We don't need to be carrying souls around with us at this point. Uh, so yeah, the, the maximum amount of um, uses of Estus Flask is 12. So even in New Game Plus and New Game Plus Plus, you can find more Estus Flask Shards. They're just useless. Uh, unfortunately, you can find enough in the, the first playthrough to get to 12. Um... Which is a shame, I'd love like 20 uses of it to be honest, but never mind. Uh, yeah, I'm just about to go back and I just remember um, we will just burn that, that sublime bone dust in the bonfire. This is the only bonfire you can do it in. So I'm going to strength it up and then we're going to go and do Black Gulch, which again is a very short area. We're just going to do a little uh, bonus bit in there, which is kind of hidden. It's very well hidden if you don't know about it. Right, so what you want to do for the majority, or the vast majority of this place, is actually break these statues. They, two of them, two hits will poison you. So you can see how many of them there are. They are everywhere. So yeah, don't, try not to stand in front of them. That was close. That should have spat at me, but it didn't. Try not to stand in front of them. Because they will still get you, if you, even if you do break them. And then you can see those black pools down there. Do not run down there yet. Look for this to the side here and look over the edge. You should see that you can drop down. There will probably, if you're online like I am, there will probably be a message there to let you know that's where you drop down. And then we're going to go around and then Luca Teal is going to be here. So make sure to exhaust your dialogue with her again. Uh, she's not going to give you anything this time. But she is going to be available for this boss fight. So I'm just going to break all these down. Because these are kind of overlooking and they will get you. Those two are alright. And we're going to have a worm. These boss, these are actually really easy. They look quite difficult. But if you just stay at the sort of base of them here. They can't hit you. Uh, and you're free to just kill them. Having said that. This, actually, this next one does actually do damage to me. And it's my own fault. Because I get stuck in a combo. Because I hit and then I move forward. And it, it does that. So if it does retreat back in, it's just going to lunge out. Just step back and you'll be fine like this. And then go back in. But any other attack that it does shouldn't hit you as long as you stay at the base of it there. So make sure you grab this. Scraps of life. That is another hex that came out of one of the pots there. And nameless soldier there. And then we're going to go out and get a sorcery as well. So break these as you go. It's just the best thing to do. But watch out for these. These enemies are actually very easy. The worst part about those enemies is when they lunge out of the, the oil. It is obviously oil. Uh, it's burning there. So if you have a fire sword like I do still, you will set a light to the pool. Um, yeah, they, they do a grab. You can just see it there. If they do that grab, that will hurt a lot. But for the vast majority of their attacks, do not do that much damage. 
It's a fair amount, but you can block it. That one died from fire damage as well. They do a lot. They uh, take a lot of damage from fire, these guys. So yeah, they look a lot worse, a bit crazy looking than they actually are. And then in here is going to be a chest with the great magic weapon in it. Okay. Right, so we're going to go on to do another secret area. There are two enemies in this secret area which are pretty tough. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Two giants. You can separate them and not you don't have to fight them both at the same time, so don't worry. So look for these uh, these ones on the edge here, so kind of in line with that hole. And then you'll look over the edge again, you'll see another place you can drop down. There is a door here. Uh, we will open this later on, we'll come back, there's kind of a side mission uh, attached to that, there's three different doors we need to go through. Uh, we'll go to another world and have to fight, uh, yeah, it's it's a whole other thing. Uh, we will be back, but the actual key for it is the forgot forgotten key, which is from these two giants here. <sighs> yeah, they're giants, <laughs> they, and they hit pretty hard, so they will both come for you once you walk into that cave. If you can walk right back to the end here, uh, they will start to back away. They will keep following. Both of them are still there at this point. But if you just keep leading them away, leading them away. And then eventually the back one should back away. And there you can see the front one has as well. Now I personally prefer to double hand with these guys and try and dodge their attacks rather than uh, block it. Because the block will just, you'll take about the same amount of damage as you would if you weren't blocking it. And uh, you'll lose all your stamina. So it's best to try and roll through their uh, their attacks. That wasn't the best, but <laughs> I managed to roll through the first, but because he was double swinging, the, the, the second part of it got me. Uh, you can circle them, but their attacks like that uh, will hit you if you try and circle around the back. So it's actually best to stay in front of them for that. Uh, yeah, they're not too bad, but definitely together they will make very short work of you. So the, the second one you're actually fighting here, it's a bit, a bit easier, this one. See what's going on. So the attacks are that sort of slam. That's easy enough to dodge out of the way. This, that's you need to get away. Has quite. A, it's like almost like an AoE, that attack. You're alright at the front, but from behind or at the side, it's going to get you. And yeah, it's just a case. They are very slow, obviously. They're big, lumbering giants. Um... Yeah, you can see that was not blocked at all, that, that attack. It didn't do that much damage. Obviously, you don't want to keep getting hit. And it should go down pretty easily in the end. And you can also see I'm going to get something called Soul of a Giant. This is a weird one, the Soul of a Giant. So, obviously, do not use it. Do not. It's, it's, it's not like a normal soul that you can use. But do not use it because near the end of the game, there is King Vendrick. And the more soul of a giants that you have, we will be having. We will collect four of them. Uh, the weaker he is, so it's it's a bit of a weird one. But yeah, we need to grab them. Uh, we'll actually take it on. If you don't have any, he is ridiculously difficult. He does not take much damage at all. Uh, in here is the ring of giants and petrified dragonbone. And then we're gonna get the hell out of here. So yeah, that's what we came down for. Was the key. And the soul of a giant. If you want to walk around and get to the silver talisman, you can do. Silver talisman, again, you would throw them at um, the mimics, the chests that have teeth. <laughs> and it would make them go back to sleep. Well, but you could still get their, uh, their item. And at the top here, we will be on the other side of the second sort of area with the black pools, the oils pools. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to line it up. So that's where we drop down just to the right there. We're going to run to the left hand side here all the way and then unpetrify this guy and do it quickly. <laughs> so you should, you will have a woodland child spawn in. Um, they're a bit of a pain, not going to lie. So quickly kill this one. I'm running here and hit the bonfire. Don't sit at it because you, you won't be able to because there's a, a phantom here. We'll just light it for now. 
I haven't actually lit it yet. I don't know what I'm doing. Why have I not lit it yet? The whole point was lighting it. <laughs> Why have I not done that? <laughs> I must have been... Uh, I wonder why I've not done... Anyway, light it. So in case you do die, and if if you are hollow already, you then just die. You don't even need to fight this guy. Uh, so yeah, light the bonfire. Not Don't do what I've not done. Or don't do what I have done and not light it. Uh, yeah, you can. if you're already um, hollow, then just let this guy kill you. Because he's going to spawn back in anyway. So yeah, let him kill you. This is close. There. So I have no idea. The whole idea was to run in and quickly light this. I've done it so many times. So if we do die. There we go. Uh, yeah, so this is it. We're ready for the boss now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit at it. And then I'm going to um, become human. So I'm going to use a human effigy. And then Luca Teal's um, summon sign is going to be directly ahead of me. You can see it there. I'm just going to do a backup save. I advise you to do the same so you don't use too many human effigies just in case you die. Uh, by doing this, the Woodland Child will come back. They're weird. It's a different one. They just keep coming. They're just There's just so many of them. Uh, you will always get one spawning in. But with Luca Teal around, they'll be fine. So drop down. And then break as many of these statues leading to the boss fog. So yeah, you can see this is actually a different woodland child this time. And Lucatio should follow you. You want to try and get him down. So that's why I left a bit earlier. You want to get him down here. You don't want to fight him up near the pools or near the other statues. Yeah, this isn't going very well, is it? <laughs> there we go. Right. Stop chasing me. I'm trying to heal. I was going for the backstab. <laughs> you can usually backstab these guys very easily as well. I'm running out of stamina. No. Oh, come on. There, Luke Teal finishes it for me. Right. So we need Luke Teal to, to uh, last this fight out. She can take a lot of damage during this fight, during the rotten fight here. Uh, the Rotten is f pretty easy, to be honest. does hit hard, but is slow and um, telegraphs its moves pretty well. Obviously, the, there are fire pools everywhere. You just want to kind of stay away from them. Uh, we're not doing a lot of damage here, you can see. Uh, so this is only new game, and this is how little damage I'm doing with this guy. I think it's actually extremely weak to, f uh, to magic. Um, so if you are a magic build, you'll, you'll have a better time of this. But yeah, it's just a case of dodge roll through his uh, attacks. Um, so yeah, this is the boss people actually farm to get through New Game Plus and New Game Plus Plus without having to, to defeat all these kind of... Uh, light all the primal bonfires. You'd come down here, you'd uh, defeat him, then you'd go back to that bonfire we were just at, use a bonfire aesthetic, come back in, defeat him again... Uh, he gets more difficult and you'll be ending up in like plus gate... Plus uh, new game 7 something like that crazy uh, and he will not take a lot of damage at all it will take forever to beat him I'm not going to do it that way um, what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to do speed runs through these areas and just ignore all the side stuff but I will give you the option again it's to do with your soul level uh, we almost defeat him here, but I'm actually glad he did this, his, his attack there. We did kill him as he was doing the attack. That's his sort of dark attack, his AoE, so if he does do that, you want to try and get away. But I was trying to get the, the kill in before he did it, but uh, he died and did it at the same time, which was annoying. Uh, this was a this is a random drop, this item from the, uh, the Woodland Child. I've never actually seen Orma's Great Shield before. I haven't had that drop, but uh, yeah, that's it. We're done. That is uh, Black Gulch done. So you can see it was a very short area. Another petrified something in here along with Symbletons and Skeptic Spice. They don't come into play yet. They will come into play in Iron Keep. There's a guy you can give these to. Um, uh, it reduces the level needed for certain magic. I will explain that one once we actually get to him. I'm going to 
like the primal bonfire you're gonna get the gulch bonfire trophy of course that's another primal one there and uh, yeah we're just gonna go back to um, Majula and that's gonna be the end of the video and then we're gonna go off to forbidden woods forbidden woods forbidden forest just checking which stones she has again nothing good still never mind so I'm just going to do a bit of leveling here. Uh, yeah, so the, the weapon that the Rotten was using is the weapon I will be using. So I'm actually going to use its soul later on uh, to craft its weapon that it was using. Um, yeah, I like that weapon. So I'm getting ready for it with my strength. And I'm actually going to put a bit in vitality because I know I'm going to need to carry some heavier stuff. So that's where we're at. Right. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.